Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we are going to take a look at how we can create this beautiful, beautiful wallpapers carousel in React Native using React Native Reanimated, Tanstack, React Query and Pexels API. So we are going to fetch the wallpapers from Pexels API using React Query and we are going to inject them into a flat list and animate that flat list and apply a bunch of different interpolations. So without further ado, let's jump straight into VS Code and start building this Pexels wallpaper carousel. Shall we? Alrighty guys, so we are in VS Code here. I've created a project using Expo, but we actually need some dependencies. And you can go ahead on your terminal and install those dependencies. We will need a Tanstack React Query and React Native Reanimated. So hit save and this is going to install uh, both dependencies and now let's start the bundler okay open up the project in uh, in the simulator and everything is okay now and the first thing that we actually need to do is to wrap our entire application with a query provider and pass the client right so here i will need to have a query provider and add the the view and this query provider expect client so i'll say query client and let's create this query client const query client is equal to a new query client and whatever we are going to render inside this query client provider we have access to react query inside it right so let's start by creating a new component and i'll say here pexels world paper create a new one pexels wallpapers hit save go back to the app pexels wallpapers now go back to this component and fetch some wallpapers so let's do here pexels api i already have uh, a new url so we have api pexels.com uh, search and we are going to search for a uh, mobile wallpaper uh, for, with the orientation portrait and inside this uh, pexels wallpaper component i'm gonna say get something from use query from that stack and we are going to provide a query key and we are going to say wallpapers and as a query function we are going to say async we are going to get a response as a wait. We are going to fetch the URI and pass the authorization header. So headers is going to be authorization and then your API key. And then we are going to get the, the response and get the response JSON out of that, right? and you need to replace your api key with your own pexels api and i already have an api key yeah you need to add your own api key in order for this to work so now we can uh, console log the response and return the response as well because you always need to return something from the query function from react query now hit reload don't forget to actually return the rest okay and hit refresh and this is how the data is going to look like it's a really really huge object and i've already created some types that uh, this api is going to be like so the search payload it's is going to have a total results a page per page and photos which is a collection of photo each individual photo is going to have an id with height url photographer average color some source uh, for the images uh, and if it's liked and uh, an alt text right and what we actually need to do here is we can um, type this entire uh, entire use query by using uh, search payload right and now we have the data and if it's loading and data as you can see is going to be photos and whatnot and now we can actually do if it's loading or not so string is loading okay and also wrap this into a flex one justify come to the center and the line items to the center as well okay so is it loading no is it loading yes true false true false okay right so what we can do here if is loading 
then just return activity indicator from react native with the size large and again we need to have this uh, wrapped into a view loading loading false now inside instead of uh, displaying the text i would like to display a flat list this flat list is going to have the data as data.photos and the key extractor is going to be item and then a string by the item.id and then a render item is going to get the item and the index and is going to return a photo and we can pass the item as item and index as index right and now we can go to the photo and create uh, create this function function photo receive the item and the index item it's actually a photo and index it's a number and we are going to return a view and inside this view we are going to return an image and the style for the image is going to be with image with a height of image height and we can define those variables const image width is going to be width multiplied by 0.7 and the width is going to come from dimensions get the screen right and the image height is going to be image width multiplied by 1.76 great and image we need to import image from react native Okay, and of course we need to, <laughs> to actually uh, uh, pass the source. Source uh, for the image is going to be item, source, and then I'll add the large. Alrighty, so now the images are actually visible on the screen. Um, and what I would like to actually do, uh, because having the width and the height on the image uh, is not going to help us out especially uh, when we are going to add an animation because we are going to play around with the scale so we can create this parallax effect so instead of having the width and the height on the image let's move this to the view rather and the image flex one instead flex one so it's going to take all the available space right but now we can also add the scale and because uh, uh, we can also add an overflow hidden to the container, right? So if we are going to apply a scale to the image, uh, it's going to uh, like create this parallax effect. Okay, so we have this and now uh, what I would like to do is to make this uh, flat list uh, horizontal. And we can define horizontal is true, right? And I would like to pull, uh, add a small gap in between items. So content container style, I will add a gap of spacing and uh, let's define the spacing here go back to the constants i'll add con spacing is equal to let's say 12. so we can create this small gap between items so, uh, this first item i would like to start from the middle so in order to align this we need a padding horizontal which is going to be with minus image with all divided by two great and now uh, we see that uh, this is already aligned and one thing is that i would like to have a pagination right so i would like to snap to interval by image width plus the spacing so we are going to whoop, snap here and also the deceleration rate deceleration rate is going to be fast so it's going to snap really fast whoop, whoop. great this is working okay so we have a, a carousel that's fetching the data from pixels and is going to display this awesome 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 carousel now uh, let's go back again to this uh, uh, container that's rendering the image and also add a border radius of maybe 16 just to make everything look prettier uh, right now flat list it's actually taking the entire available space so it's it's this entire screen so background color it's red you see it's going to take the entire uh, screen so if you'd like to just uh, uh, take the height of the biggest uh, children or the biggest slide within that uh, flat list you need to pass the flex grow and make this zero so in this way it's not going to automatically grow and take the entire space but rather is just based on the slides which is what we actually want to have right 
and now we have this uh, great uh, carousel and I would like to uh, get the X value, the X offset and send it to each individual photo uh, and interpolate based on the photo index and that scroll X index. Okay, so let's do that now. First, I would like to create here at the top, I'll add a scroll X, it's equal to a use shared value, it's going to start from zero. And we also need to have an on scroll event, on scroll, which is a use animated scroll handler. And we are going to get the scroll X content X. And this content, uh, content offset is going to determine the position inside this carousel. But I would like to divide this by um, an image width plus spacing, which is going to give us the exact index where this carousel is positioned inside, right? And with this on scroll, we first need to get the animated to make this flat list to be an animated flat list. Animated is coming from React Native reanimated and pass the on scroll event. So on scroll is equal to on scroll and get this event scroll event throttle at 60 FPS. So it's 1000 divided by 60, which is roughly roughly around 16.6 .6 milliseconds. So okay. Now nothing should change, of course, but we are actually modifying the scroll X uh, based on the uh, content offset. And now this uh, scroll X, we can pass it down to the photo itself. So if we uh, pass this as a prop, go back, go to the photo, also add the types here. So scroll X, uh, scroll X is going to be a shared value as a number and we can uh, do some animations now right so we can uh, let's say scale the image and uh, also rotate the image based on the index minus one index and index plus one interpolation so we're going to say styles is going to uh, be a use animated style and here return a transform and we are going to apply a scale and we are going to interpolate interpolate is going is going to come from react native reanimated interpolate the scroll x value with the input range index minus one index and index plus one and the output range is going to be uh, let's say 1.41 1 and 1.4 okay and apply this style to the image itself so that that was the reason why we actually wrapped this view into uh, this image into a view so we can later apply a different scale and since this view which is the container of this image has an overflow hidden we're not going to actually show that the image itself it's actually it has a bigger scale so we actually need to convert this to be an animated image and also add the styles that we've just created so in this way you look what's going to happen you see it's like the scale is going to be animated based on the uh, position of the image and the position inside the carousel so we can also do a 0.6 let's say right so we can increase even more 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 the, the scale and another thing is that uh, let's copy this interpolation and uh, add it to the rotation so rotate we can interpolate we can interpolate the same scroll x but this time let's say i like the 10 degrees zero and minus 10 degrees if you are going to the left and this should return uh, in degrees right so now if we are going to go to the left it's going to rotate like that if we are going to the right it's going to rotate uh, on the other side so uh, let's add maybe 15 even more so we can see this rotation in, uh, taking place right this is looking quite uh, quite good guys so far and the last thing about this animation is that uh, I would like to display uh, the current image from uh, from the carousel as a background and I would like to add a blur, 
radius to that. So in order to do so, where we render the, the flat list, let's uh, go here and uh, say view. And this view, I would like to do data photos map, get the photo and render a backdrop photo and add a photo as photo. Also the index, get the index from the map as well. And scroll X as well, scroll X. And this backdrop photo, uh, we need to create the, the component. So function backdrop photo is going to have the same uh, properties like uh, the photo, the index and scroll X. So we can have the photo as photo, um, index as number and scroll x as shared value by a number and we can also return here an image source uri is going to be photo source why is this complaining so backdrop there is a there was a comma uh, but anyway so it's a photo that source that large the position this absolute so style sheet style sheet absolute fill object great so we have an image here and the reason why this is not display is because this view should also be positioned absolute so style uh, style sheet absolute fill object and now we have them on the background but the problem is that um, uh, we display all of them all together uh, and uh, we actually need to display only the active image from the carousel. So in order to do so, again, we need to interpolate the index and the carousel index. So I'll say const styles is equal to a use animated style. And this is going to return an opacity. And we are going to interpolate the scroll X value. Input range its index minus one index and index plus one with an output range of zero one and zero okay and basically it's saying you know make this image visible only if the current scroll x index is equal to the index of the image otherwise make it zero so if we are going to convert this image to be an animated image and pass the style that we've just created, you'll see that we are going to only display the active, the active image. And I've said that I would like to add a blur radius. So I will add a blur radius of 50. So we are just going to make this, um, yeah, it's just creating this, uh, this nice effect. And one thing that bothers me is this horizontal indicator. So I'll add this show horizontal indicator to false but move this down uh, where we have the scroll event throttle so now we've just added this uh, nice nice effect to everything all righty guys so it was I, I believe a short tutorial but i just wanted to uh, show uh, to you how to uh, first fetch some images from pixels or from any api and display them inside the flat list and after displaying them uh, just convert that flat list to be an animated flat list and start animating those elements inside the render item i also a really uh, great opportunity here to for you to learn uh, how to make a carousel using snap interval and deceleration rate uh, which is quite quite nice we have added the backdrop photo as well but you can also add the uh, author details and everything all together uh, is the same concept uh, you can extend it as much as you'd like um, if you like this video don't forget to hit 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 the like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and also press the ring bell notification to be notified whenever i'm posting something new or go live on this on this youtube channel otherwise see you in the future video